Nation. <laughs> okay, that hurts. It's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get Roy into the news. Hey, yo, I can't even, mm, so much juicy, juicy drama today, ladies and gentlemen, we have to get to. Drama within the community for sure. A whole gang of NBA 2K21 information has released. We're gonna get to all the goody, goody, goodness. If you guys are new to the channel, man, be sure to subscribe. Have you done it yet? It's a big red button, click it. God damn it, it's not hard. And second channel link is in the description. We're trying to hit 200K, man. Click it, top link in the dis- Actually, it's not gonna be the top link. You know why? Cause today's video is sponsored. Take it away, agent from two days ago. This glorious video is brought to you by Keeps. Do you still have hair on your head? Well, that's good news. Not everybody does. That's a weird way to start this promo. <laughs> Keeps has revolutionized the way that men are treated for hair loss. Did you guys know that two out of every three men experience some form of male pattern baldness before the time they're 35? And I'm 24! I don't have a lot of time left. The best way to prevent the hair loss is to do something about it before you lose the hair. And look at me, man. I got a whole luscious head of curly hair. You see this? I don't really take care of it. That's my fault. I should do better, especially considering, hey, Hey, it is nappy and tangled, but I do not want to lose it. And the good part about Keeps is that it's affordable. You don't have to go broke to avoid being bald. The process is not only affordable, but it's a lot easier. You don't have to pull up to a doctor's office, go to no pharmacy. They deliver it to your house every three months. It could take up to four to six months or more to see results, so it's important that you act fast. If you guys are interested in acting now, it's a link at the top of the description or go to keeps.com slash agent zero zero to get 50% off your first order. I feel like I had something else to say, but no, that was it. Go to keeps.com slash agent zero zero. And if you're dealing with hair loss or you anticipate you might, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. For our first story of the day, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there's a lot that's changed, right? NFL 2K was just announced. I don't know when that's dropping. PGA 2K Tour 2K is now a thing. The WWE 2K went from simulation to arcade. So there's a lot going on in the 2K umbrella. And it seems that it's, it might potentially get even more complicated because this tweet was linked to me earlier today on Twitter. A uh, account called Fandom posted this. AT&T is reportedly discussing a sale of Warner Brother Games for four billion with EA, Take-Two Interactive, Activision Blizzard, all drawing interest. All right, so this might mean nothing to you right now, but take this in. 2K has already been eating up different companies that's struggling and making it a part of their 2K brand. They did it with the PGA Tour 2K. They did it with WWE when two, uh, THQ went under. And now it looks like the company that owns 2K might be eating up another big publisher. And just in case you don't know how big this publisher is, here's a list of different games that they've published. Anywhere from Shadow of Mordor, Batman games, Injustice to Mortal Kombat. So it's not nothing to play around with. This is big sh all of that to say, when Agent Zero is saying, not me, of course, I'm Agent Beam, so I'm talking about Agent Zero. When he's saying that the solution of solving a lot of the problems with 2K is hiring more people, y'all can't tell me it's not possible, because when you eat up companies like this and you have all these different games you work on, what do you have to do? You have to hire developers for those teams. So I'm just saying, man, they're already doing it just for other games under their umbrella. Start doing it for 2K! Anyway, there's a lot of good juicy 2K stuff we're gonna get to in a moment, so let's put a pause on that. For the next but very similar story of the day, if you guys remember in 2016, when 2K16, yeah, when 2K16 was out in that summer for PlayStation Plus users, you got a chance to play the game for free. And the game blew up, I swear to you. Not only was 2K16 one of the, if not the greatest 2K of all time, but they released it for free in the summer. Content creators is blowing up. Everybody was playing and talking about the game. It was good for everybody involved. And it seems like GTA 5, which is in the same umbrella as NBA 2K, because it's owned by the same company, is doing the same thing when the PS5 launches. PlayStation Plus members on PlayStation 4 will also receive a million in their GTA 5 online accounts uh, look, 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 look. GTA 5 Online is free with PS5 launch. Rockstar Games announced that PlayStation 5 owners will get GTA 5 Online for free at launch when the game comes out to Sony's next-gen console. And that gives me hope, because every summer since 2K16, I've been thinking to myself, I hope 2K does it again, and they haven't. But here's to some more hope, because they're not close to the idea. 
Cause something like that definitely has to be signed off by the up and up and up and ups. And it seems like they just did that for GTA 5. So I'm hoping, here's to hoping, summer could be lit this year. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, there's a whole bunch of rumors and shenanigans going on. You know what I'm saying? Cause people just wanna know the information. And we haven't heard not a goddamn thing about NBA 2K21. So Ronnie got to talking on Twitter. This is what he said. Enjoying the so-called experts tweet this morning. Do me a favor, everyone. Let's remember forever going forward how informed they were in the future next time baseless info gets out there. <laughs> so he's taking a whole lot of shots at different people just making up rumors. I don't even know who he's referring to here. I, I should know as Agent Beamstar, but I don't know. Maybe I need to get better at my job. Ronnie, you've done that before too. What are you talking about? <laughs> remember, guys, his famous words, and I quote, That's no. not the neighborhood, but you guys can think whatever you want. That's not the neighborhood, but you guys can think whatever you want. That's not the neighborhood, but you guys can think whatever you want. I got a second try. That's not the neighborhood, but you <laughs> <laughs> Can't just forget that. So I don't know who those people were spreading rumors that morning. Ronnie 2K is letting you know you might have done the same in the past. Anyway, um, that definitely means that they're ready to share some kind of info, and they obviously did, and we're gonna get to that in a moment. Ronnie2k was on stream, though, and uh, somebody clipped him saying this. We always come out of the fall, my team 2K, so I don't understand what you're asking me. Tape 2 confirmed, it's fall. There you go. Now, I don't remember Take Two confirming it, and because there's so much chaos going around in the world, it's very reasonable to expect that there might be a delay, which is, I guess, what people were asking Ronnie in the stream. But Ronnie here is saying that they've already confirmed, even though it seems like this is the first confirmation people were getting about NBA 2K21's release in the fall. Complex Sports put out the. Actually, you know what's crazy? I don't trust screenshots of tweets because it could have just been inspect elemented. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is what the alleged tweet says. As Ronnie said, when a game is so well made, there's usually no reason to delay. I don't think he said that. I genuinely believe that's cap. Hey, hey, nope, I don't believe it. Ronnie wasn't playing though when he said 2K21 info was gonna be released. We'll get to that a little bit later, but before we do, for the next story of the day. Oh man, I don't know how much more of these I'm gonna do. Probably the last one to be honest with you because the drama doesn't feel like it's gonna end. But Nick the Bulls fan is back in the drama, obviously an OG content creator. A lot of people think he going off the rails. And I'm gonna keep it a being with you. I'm trying not, Agent Zerus told me to tell y'all he's trying not to get involved in this. I already have so much going on right now. I really don't need to be dragged into some more drama. I'm taking a step back and let them handle this one. All Agent Beam star today, what I'm doing is reporting the news, man. Just know that. This is what Nick Bulls fan had to say. Chris move is the sole reason why the community is so toxic. When you have a toxic dad, the kids tend to follow suit. Please think about what I just said and think about the fact that you probably can't remember the last time Smooth did a collab. Think about the past. Someone responded to Nick the Bulls fan saying, this dude wants to be smooth so bad, lol. You'll never be him or anything close. Sorry, dude. I want to be smooth? If I was that boomer, I would wake up every morning disappointed in myself. I would never aspire to be a bully. I want to be Mr. Beast, but bigger. Think bigger. Use your brain, please. Bro, why you hating? You disappeared from the community when you went to college. Great for you. Jesse, Cash, Chris, all exploded when you went nowhere. You're saying their names to keep yourself relevant. I love LSK, shout out Chris, that's an improved man right there. Cash and Jesse just followed the smooth way and bullied their way to the top due to insecurities. I know the truth about both of y'all. Why do you think they posted that search and discard? They see me coming. He's referring to a video Jesser posted. No, I think Cash posted on his second channel. It might, it might have been both of them, to be honest. It was a collab they both did like a week ago. Cash was like, man, what the hell is he talking about? He decided to respond on Twitter saying this. This can be the last time responding to you. You are beyond delusional. Me and Jesse only promote laughter and positivity. You downplaying everybody besides looking in the mirror and taking a self accountability. You changed ever since you simp for the worst. Get out my DMs. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I just be screenshotting because I'm doing things and something's happened, I just screenshot it. But I didn't actually read this until just now. <laughs> God damn. And he actually posted a screenshot of DMs with Nick the Bulls fan where just a moment before putting out these tweets, Nick tweeted 
Do I not know how to speak no more? What the hell happened? Hey, basically he sent him a DM earlier saying, hey Cash, tomorrow's my big graduation stream and I'd love to have you on as one of the main speakers. The stream is at 12, but I... Basically asking Cash for a favor. So you can't end the thing with, as you have been an incredible friend, and an inspiration, my guy. And then say all the things you're saying online about Cash. Look, bro, I talk to plenty of different content creators. Yo, Cash is the most positive person I have ever spoken to, I swear to God. We did a workout video last time I was in LA, and I was just making jokes about myself because I'm comfortable with the fact that I'm fat. I'm not, I'm getting, you see me lose weight and <laughs> But Cash never made a single joke, just gave advice and spread positivity. That like, man. So yeah, I agree with what Cash is saying. I've never seen him or Jesse ever be negative, ever. I don't know, man, but the drama's getting juicy, ladies and gentlemen. Chris got involved. He sent a quote tweet saying this. Nah, Nick, check yourself. We're not cool. I unfollowed you since your unnecessary slander. How we handled things in the past could have been better, but 2016 me isn't the same me in 2020, and for the better. I wish you the best, but move on. You quit, and now you want our attention? <laughs> hey, you see a smile on my face? I shouldn't be this excited about drama, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be this excited. Guys, this is bad, no drama, stop. People want respect, but don't even respect themselves. Respect is earned, not given. Nick decided to then put out a tweet saying, Cash knows what I know about him. He really shouldn't have tweeted back at me. The people who have given me the time of day know what I'm doing. I'm trying to stop bullying by addressing my biggest bullies. Open your eyes and start thinking for yourselves. Cash and Jester say things and you act like what they say is fact because you like their content. We measure success differently. Chris decided to fire back on Twitter saying this. I had to block Nick, man. Shake my head. I don't know what's going on with him, but let's leave him be. Unfortunately, I've changed from my 2016 ways, so I will not be taking part in any funny banter. Besides, I hate for y'all to see another three years of daily selfies because of my childish actions. And here Chris is referring to uh, Nick the Bulls fan had like this daily selfie thing he was doing for a couple years. I'm, uh, so yeah, that's basically what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, again, Agent Zero said he's not getting involved in no drama. But speaking from experience, Cash and Jesse have been, man, there isn't an example of two more positive people in the 2K community. I swear to God, I can't think of one. And I'm not even trying to gas him up. Jesse was a guy who helped me when he had way more subscribers than me. We did a collab when I had like 15K. And Cash has never shown nothing but love. I can't remember the last time those guys got in some drama over some views or some bull. It doesn't happen. All of that to say, I hope all of this can be solved because uh, I'm not gonna be reporting on it anymore. Because <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna be a revolving circle. And I don't even think these guys wanna address it no more neither. So that story is done. For the next story of the day. Hey, it's just a quick little quick story, man. <laughs> I thought this was hilarious. Y'all might find it hilarious too. So uh, Wes sent me a screenshot right here, man. We got AMP Davis. He said, hi, I'm Davis with the little corny simp emoji, right? And it was to a beautiful woman. Wow, dying, just 10 out of 10 woman. You know what I'm saying? David's trying to shoot his shot. Now, Duke <laughs> in the reply says, a grown ass man using this emoji is sus as <laughs> I've been trying to tell him, bro, you can't use that. That's all there is to the story, guys. It was a short one. For our next story of the day, of course, everybody got an opportunity to see the new NBA 2K21 trailer where Zion Williamson seems to be on the cover. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not news to nobody. We've all seen that. Mike Wang decided, Mike Wang never posts. I feel like the only time he posts now is when 2K comes to him and they're like, hey, here's this obligatory promotional post. And he promoted, boom, by using the eye emoji. LD2K sent the hashtag NBA2K21 right before the trailer was released. And of course, the trailer itself. Uh, I'm gonna have it mute just cause there's copyrighted music, but it's just dribbling sounds. So you guys aren't gonna miss out. Now there's a few things I wanna point out. One, 2K decided to play this at the PS5 conference. If you remember, last couple years, they've been doing some deals with Xbox. In the couple years before that, they were with Sony and PlayStation. So it seems like they're just flipping back and forth on whoever's willing to give them more money. But PlayStation, I guess, was looking for people to show off their new on the PS5. And here we got 2K doing that. Look, first of all, nobody sweats this much because you know they just be spamming sweat. We all know they spam sweat, right? So I want to point this out. Those of you who have played 2K games, it doesn't have to be basketball, just 2K games in general, know how weird 
the, the eyes and the teeth always look. Now, we can't really see Zeon's teeth here, but look at the eye movement. So, in my opinion, I feel like the two cringiest thing about 2K games in the PS4 and Xbox One era have seemed to have been solved. Oh, actually, we did see his teeth right there. Ah, still a little cringy. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. As a person who's been let down more times than I can count, for some reason, this still gets me kind of gassed. So, myself is telling myself, calm down. We, we've been down this road before, calm down. Don't get gassed just yet. This is a small little snippet, let's not get gassed just yet. But I am excited though, that we're finally hearing some information about NBA 2K21. So, what we know so far is that 2K is, as usual, expected to launch in the fall. Anytime there's a delay or a cancellation that costs publishers a ton of money, and we know Take Two's all about the money. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it's gonna launch when it usually launches early September. I'm still confident. The only unfortunate part about all of this though is that that might come at the cost of the game. The game might come out unfinished or they might have taken out some features because they didn't have enough time to add it because of all the chaos going on in the world. But again, all speculation. I am interested to see if NBA 2K is gonna come out with some kind of exclusive content or some kind of early this or that on the PlayStation 5. Not gonna lie, I hate those console exclusive extra or early contents. Hate it with the passion, but we know developers have used it in the past and it's very, very effective, so you never know. So there's a lot to be excited about. There's a lot to be cautious about, ladies and gentlemen, but that's it for the news. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and if you haven't, then be sure to subscribe. And I have my second channel link in the description. Be sure to subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe. You guys get the message. You're gonna do it or you won't, right? Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.